Well, hurrah, ladies and gentlemen. It is Battlefield 4. It is finally here. But, but hang on a minute. My gun isn't moving quite as I was expecting from Battlefield 3. And, oh my goodness, my HUD is in the wrong place. And, oh, my keys have been bound to the wrong place. Oh, this is awful. This is going to take me ages to set up. Or is it? Because actually what I'm going to show you in today's video is a really quick and easy way that you can import all of your Battlefield 3 settings straight into Battlefield 4. So, let's get importing. Okay, so how do we import our Battlefield 3 settings into Battlefield 4? Well, first of all, as far as I'm aware, this is only a PC thing, so apologies if you are a uh, console player. Uh, but this is how you do it. Go to Google and you type in BF4 Settings Editor. And this is a really useful little program um, by a group of people that have made a Battlefield 3 Settings Editor. editor. They've been around for a while. This is a trusted group of people, so you know, don't don't be concerned about installing this. But of course, um, if you are install, uh, you're concerned at all, then obviously run a virus checker and all that kind of stuff thing but this is it so you type in bf4 settings editor and you click the first um, link that you get and you come to this world with this um, this page here realmware battlefield tools and uh, what you're looking for is this the battlefield 4 settings editor now what this program is is it's a really easy way of adjusting loads of battlefield 4 settings now a lot of these settings actually can be adjusted in game like you can just change them anyway uh, but the first of all this sometimes makes it quicker to change those settings settings and secondly it makes uh, it gives you access to certain settings that you don't have access to um in, in the full one as well. Now, as of November the 2nd, which is today, uh, they've just released version 1.1, but obviously I would suggest that you get whichever version is um, there um, when you uh, w when you come to the website, and I'm going to download the installer. Now, there is a zip version as well if you're, if you're not comfortable running exe files, um, but there is a slight advantage in that the, uh, the setup exe will get hold of the .NET framework if you don't have that already. So you need to download it, and then you need to run the installer, or your zip, whichever one it is, and then you you just go through the uh, the standard um, installation um, that you would with any uh, with any program, deciding what kind of shortcuts you want um, here and there. It will happily install the program for us, and then we'll be ready um, to run the Battlefield 4 settings editor. And up it comes. First of all, it's been very nice for us, and it's created a backup of our settings already, which means um, we'll be able to get anything back um, if we want. And the other thing it's got here is it's got um, different profiles. So say, for example, you share a computer, and you like your settings one way, and your brother or your dad or your mom or your dog likes your, the settings another way. You can actually use this to just very quickly set between uh, go between two Two different settings. Um, you could also use this program if you if you're kind of looking to tweak your settings but not lose all your old settings and be able to get straight back. You could use that as well to do different profiles. But if I click on back on this help tab here, you'll see that there is a lovely little button that says import settings from Battlefield 3. And that is the one that I am going to be using. Um, but just to show you that this is going to work, I'll, I'll just I'll give you an example. If I click on the settings, these are all of the settings that we can adjust um, in Battlefield 4. And actually, there's a few that this, this program adjusts that you can't actually see. Um, but there's a whole load of things here, um, which is fantastic. And there's even some, uh, you know, they've added some, some fixes in here um, for, for some of the, uh, the, the, the kind of current issues. So it's always good to keep this program kind of up to date. Um, but just to show you that it's working, it's currently set to Field of View 70. But when I run in Battlefield 3, I always had it on 90. So let's go back to help. I'll hit import settings from Battlefield 3 and it'll say um, am I sure that I want to import my settings I will say yes it say it's been imported successfully let's go back to the settings and you can now see the field of view is now 90 on top of cool things such as now my mouse sensitivity has been imported the way I like it um, my key bindings are imported the way I like it you know all of those kind of things are now in the game um, set up in a way that's going to be a lot more helpful for me and the last thing you need to do before you exit the program is either uh, click save settings to actually apply those settings or X the program and it'll say do you wish to save. Um, but either way, if you actually want it to be in game, click that save button and now um, you are ready to go back into Battlefield 4. 
And here we are back in the game with a far more familiar uh, left-right feel in my mouse. My HUD is in that crazy position that I always like to have it very close to the center of my screen. I'm sure you guys will be like, oh my god, what happened to it? But I like it there. Um, and um, and loads of other settings have been in, in, imported as well. Um, I would suggest you then come in and just have a little look through and make sure that you're happy with everything, especially perhaps in the video settings, because I had mine set to custom before um, for my Battlefield 3, but of course this being a new game, I might want to stick slip it over to auto or have a little another little fiddle to see um, what my computer can actually handle here but either way um, hopefully this will, little tip will get you guys up and running on Battlefield 4 just that little bit quicker um, and get you on the battlefield as a killing machine. Um, if you've got any suggestions for tutorials that you'd like to see on Battlefield 4 do let me know in the comments section and I'm sure I will be back with a new tutorial really soon. If you found this little tip useful then please um, like the video and of course don't forget to thank the guys over at the Battlefield 4 settings editor and don't forget to subscribe for all the latest and greatest in Battlefield tutorials, gameplays, and a lot more. And don't forget, of course, I will be um, streaming live Battlefield gameplay over on my Twitch channel as well. Bye-bye.